So you bought a domain name in Cloudflare and you bought hosting in and you bought hosting in Hostinger. Now you want to connect your hosting and your domain name that is in Cloudflare. So this is what I did. Now I'm not going to take you step by step. I had recorded uh, the step by step guide but unfortunately my recording um I don't know what happened but it just stopped suddenly so I was not able to edit it and upload it but I wanted to show you how I connected this domain this exact domain with my cloudflare so now I if I check this domain if I just copy it and I go to our lookup here and we check where it has been hosted so if I click on where it has been hosted you can see that the name servers are pointing at Cloudflare you can see them here and you can be able to see that it is in Cloudflare here but the hosting you can see that the hosting is in the hosting is in Hostinger here so this is what I did I'm not I don't have any website to add right now because I've added all of them but I want you to I want to share what I did with so that you can be able to do it on your side if it's giving you problems so first before you do anything go to your WordPress uh, website so log in to your WordPress website install an a plugin called all in one wp migration and activate it then come to all in one wp migration here and go to your backups and backup your website so create a backup so i had created mine you can see it's just 35 minutes ago so i created mine so you can just hit on create backup now it will create your backup now click on download so you're going to download this to your pc as you can see here so it's downloading so make sure you let it download until you it's finished so don't start migration without first downloading that i uh, mean your your website here so when you are done with that you can also click here if you want to download you can download it from here also when you have downloaded your website so you know you have your website safely on your pc now you can go ahead and do what i'm going to show you now i realized when i was doing the connection that my website after connecting my website was not live that's why i'm saying you back up your website first so what i did is that now i went to my hosting here and now i so let me start from home then websites then you're going to add a new website then click on see all options then you're going to choose the type of website that you you have Maybe mine was business then you're not going to create a new website you're not going to create to migrate a, a website if you want to migrate a website you can watch the video that will appear at the end of this particular uh, video that I'm, I am in you'll be able to see here that one will be a step by step it will not be a discussion so um, you are going to skip and create an empty website here and then you are going to use an existing domain so select here and now you are going to write the domain that you want to add here so right now I don't have any any domain that I can be able to add here so yours will be here so you can have your domain maybe, maybe let me just use this one that, that they had used then you can click on continue so after clicking on continue manage so let me just click on continue so it cannot allow me to do that so it's going to uh, show you something to do with manage your account so you're going to see something like this 
me go back to hosting then hosting so when you go to your website you will be able to see something like this so your website will be added here to the list of websites that will be here now from there you can click on manage so once you click on manage you are going to see to click on see details here then you are going to have your ip address here so this ip address is the one that is very important because it's going to point now the uh, to your cloudflare account so you are going now to click on copy here then you are going to go to your cloudflare then your cloudflare account here then go to the domain that you want to point to 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 hosting then go to your dns settings then you are going to scroll down and add a record so you are going to add three records here you are going to add an a record you are going to add also the name servers record so we are going to click on add a record then you are going to choose the a record here then you are going to choose at to point at your domain as you can see here then you are going to put the 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 um, it's called what it's called this ip address and then you are going to um untick this you're going to tick it back but right now you're going to untick it so that uh your domain name can be given an, an ssl certificate when you when you when you when you point it to hosting then you are going to save so you have your a record here so i'm not going to save it again because i have it here you can see my a record it's here so i'm not going to save it again then you are going back to go to your hosting account so let me go back to my hosting account here and now you are going to add your name servers so as you can see the name servers that i have here the current name servers are from cloudflare as you can see here so you will need to add these name servers in your cloudflare account so the first one here so i'm going to just take this first one then copy then i'm going to go to cloudflare and i'm going to add a, a record here and i'm going to call it a, a name server so name servers here then i'm going also to point to the same domain and now i'm going to put the name server here so this is the first name server then it's going to be auto then i'm going to save it so i'm not going to save it because i have added the name server so i'm going to do the same after saving it i'm going to add the second one ns2 here the same way so you can see i have added the name servers here this is the name servers they are here then when i'm done i'm going to save it here but i'm not going to save it i'm going just to cancel it so when i'm done i'm going to go back to my to my hosting and i'm going now to refresh so when once you refresh you are going to see that the names are currently pointing to you will see the names that are uh, you will not see the red here there will be some red here but after you have done that and refresh you will not see the red here then when you're done you're going now to go back to your home going to go back to your home then your websites again then you'll be able to see that your website will be now here and you'll not see this admin panel you'll not be able to see it because your wordpress will not have been installed so that's why i've said again that you need to back up your website you need to back up your wordpress website before you even do anything then you are going to click on now manage so you will not be having this 
So you are going to click on manage. Then from here, you are going now to install your WordPress website. So there's, um, I don't know where it has gone. It was somewhere here that it's, uh, it will be asking you to install, not install WordPress, it will be install Word. I, I'm not remembering how it was, but something installed here. So you're going to click on install it. Then you are going to go ahead and put your WordPress, uh, like you are, you are logging details and you are going to put your password. Then you are going to install the WordPress. So after installing the WordPress, you are now going back to your website. You now go back to your website and then you will be able to see an admin panel here. So you can click this admin panel to take you to your WordPress website directly. So if I click here, it will take me directly. But you can also go to your website, then you put a slash WP admin so that you can log in. So after you have logged in now your website, your website will now be, uh, it will be brand new. It will not have anything. So you are now going to go to your plugins then add a new plugin then you are going to add the dub the all in one wp import this one all in one all in one wp migration then you are going now to come to your backups here not backups you'll not be having this backup you'll come to an import import is to bring in so import then you are going to click on here then file then select that file that you had that you had uh, that you did not like uh, like you who you had downloaded then open it then you are going to it's going to import to your site then you are going to click next you are going to click on the on the prompts that will be given there then your website will now be backed up so when you check now your website here and you go to this lookup you'll be able to see that it's pointing now to you are it's point, pointing to cloudflare but it is in hosting so that's how i did mine i'm really sorry that i could not be able to record that i really wanted to record that for you guys but i was not able to record that so if you want to move your website from other hosting companies maybe hostgator bluehost or any other company you can check the video the next video so guys thank you for watching this video i hope it will be helpful to you if you need some help i will be sure to leave my emails you can contact me directly through this email so that maybe we can i can help you out maybe we can configure uh, it together so thank you very much and see you on the next one.